welcome back to One Hit Wonderland, where we take a look at bands and artists known for only one song. And today... What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. So, no, 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 that's uh, I'm starting to fuck up my neck. Baby, don't hurt me, indeed. Anyway, we are going back to the wonderful, wacky world of Eurodance. In fact, this may be THE Eurodance song of the entire 90s. Although at this point, it's more meme than song. The man we're going to be talking about today is German bass singer Hathaway. And Hathaway had a hit. A big hit. A big hit that asked a big question. The question that has bedeviled the entire history of popular music. What is love? No, seriously. What is love? I've listened to a lot of music and I've heard so many different possible answers to this question. Love is all around. Love is a battlefield. Love is an open door. Love is all you need. A billion different ideas that never came together. Pop music never came up with a unified theory of love. Hathaway didn't even try to answer it. All he had was existential confusion, which he wailed in anguish. What is love? And then Hathaway went away. But no one has ever forgotten him. Not the least because Will Ferrell and Chris Kattan then spent the rest of the 90s pounding it into our head. One of a very long list of songs that Will Ferrell has cast his long shadow over. This gets the people going! But try and put that out of your bopping head for one moment. Before it was a joke that somehow got stretched into a feature-length movie, it was a real song. Let us explore the man behind the meme. For a guy whose big hit seems so very quintessentially European, Hathaway is not actually from Europe. Nestor Hathaway is Trinidadian, and he spent his childhood in America and went to college in Washington, D.C. In fact, according to one source I read, he actually has a PhD in political science. That's probably bullshit, I couldn't confirm that in my research at all. Although I did get a hold of his thesis, What is legitimate use of authority? Baby don't hurt me, don't hurt me, no more. But Dr. Hathaway wanted to pursue a career in music. And apparently he wasn't fond of the American record industry, which he felt was trying to shoehorn him into R&B. So he moved to Cologne, Germany. He worked in bars, was a dancer, started his own fashion marketing company, played football. Yeah, like real American style football. I didn't even know you could do that in Germany. I, I don't know how much it pays, I'm gonna guess he made more tending bar. And eventually he found a record label he felt like he could work with and hooked up with some German producer I've never heard of who was famous for making a bunch of German songs I don't recognize. Oh, oh, wait, 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 I know this one. Oh man, I haven't thought of this song in a million years. Should do an episode on these guys. But I'm getting off the topic. The producer presented Hathaway with a new song, the one that would make him famous. Except the original version was apparently very different. Hathaway said it sounded like the Yardbirds. And that the producer wanted him to sing it like Joe Cocker. I have no idea what that could possibly sound like. Anyway, the producer took the song back to the workshop and then gave us this instead. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Yep, still gotta. What is love? To me, there is no song that sums up the entire 90s dance scene more than What is Love. It's not even that I like it exactly. Like, you know, European club music is not really my thing. If you're asking me what I feel about what is love, it's okay. But more important than whether I like it is that I respect it. I admire it. It feels like a towering, mammoth-defining hit. Just the pinnacle of the genre. I mean, I have no idea if it seemed like that at the time. It could have been just another club track for all I know. It didn't top the charts, not even the dance charts. But like, just for kicks, I ran through a whole bunch of 90s dance stuff, and What Is Love is so much better than its peers, it's ridiculous. 
Now, why is that? I think it's just because of how punchy it is. What is Baby, don't hurt me. I mean, that's a hook right there. That's the eternal question. As we all know, love makes the world go round. But also, love hurts. And love stinks. So why do we do it? Why do we even bother? We can't even answer that question, because we don't even know what we're talking about. Don't hurt me. No more. So Hathaway doesn't even pretend to have the answer. All he knows is his baby keeps hurting him, so all he can do is give out a primal scream of what even the hell is this? I don't know. You're not there. It's such a simple song, but that's what's great about it. It cuts to the chase. Some dance songs aren't meant to be taken seriously, they're jokes. Hathaway is dead serious. And to be fair, it makes it that much funnier. I had not watched the video for this. This is great. Remind me to save this one for Halloween. But the whole sexy vampire thing fits. One observation I've always liked, and I don't remember where I heard this, but Early 90s house music was like cathedral music, or for like an opera house. It just conveys this huge amount of space and echo and gothic architectural majesty. I mean, here, check this out. You will curse the day you did not do all that the Seamless. I can't tell the difference. Can you? And it has to sound big. Because it's such a big topic. Like, imagine this as a folk song. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. Ugh, no, 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 no. Awful, awful. Now, unlike some dance tracks, What is Love is recognizably an actual song with actual song parts. You know, verses bridge, chorus, and so on. But it doesn't feel like that, does it? It just feels like the groove just kind of rides and rides without ever stopping. It seems endless. It really seems endless if you watch Night at the Roxbury, where the song plays basically non-stop through the entire movie. Good God, how did Will Ferrell have a career after this? Oh, I love this song. Me too. Actually, I'm getting kind of sick of it. Yeah, so am I. Let's move on to the follow-up. Hathaway's next single was called, Life. Man, he doesn't shy away from the deep subject matter, huh? I'm sure he's got a song for the universe and everything also. Well, let's check it out. Oh, he's a mad scientist now. That's great. Hathaway is by far my favorite Halloween costume-based dance singer, after, of course, Dr. Reanimator. That is Move Your Dead Bones by Dr. Reanimator. Check it out sometime. Reanimate your feet. Well, anyway. Uh, yeah, this uh, certainly sounds very familiar. I think it's even the same chords. Now, the question of why this failed seems pretty easy at first. Because he's a European dance artist. No one cares if they go or stay. Hathaway was no one's favorite band in high school. House and dance acts don't engender the kind of brand loyalty that other genres do. I mean, did you ever wonder why Too Unlimited never had other hits besides Y'all Ready For This? Y'all Ready For This? Of course you didn't. You don't even know that they had a ton of hits. Some of which you probably even recognize. Because who cares? Well, that was my first thought at least, but honestly, that's kind of not fair. I mean, look at this guy. This guy was also some uncredited, nameless mouthpiece for some faceless producer. And he went on to a pretty damn good career. So, it can't just be the genre. I think the bigger problem here is that life just isn't punchy enough. What is love hit you with the hard questions in like half a second? Meanwhile, the hook for life is, life will never be the same. I mean, that just, that just doesn't have the same punch to it. It just has too many words. Life will never be Boring! I'm bored! This is taking too long! But, of course, he was foreign. You know what that means on this show. 
yes, he was, of course, huge in Germany. Well, maybe not huge, but at least as big as, like, Ace and Bass was here. He racked up quite a few hits for a couple of years. Although, of course, each made a little less impact than the last. Of his other hits in Germany, Rock My Heart, this one is, I think, my favorite. Possibly because of the short title. Again, three words. Tells you all you need to know. And then he followed that up with Stir It Up. Yes, the Bob Marley song. Stir it up. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, if he was gonna cover a Bob Marley song, you'd think he'd go for Is This Love. Is this love, is this love, is this love, is this love. Is this love, baby, don't hurt me, don't hurt me, don't hurt no more. So apparently on his second album, he wanted to not be known as just a club artist. He wanted to stretch out and broaden his career. I you it all I and judging by this, it sounds like his label did not agree. Yeah, he spent the rest of his career chasing that what is love high and he never quite found it again. But from what I can tell, he never gave up. He just keeps on making music, going on tour. Most of it is dance music, some of it more low-key, easy listening stuff like this. This one is called Lover Be Thy Name. And uh, now that I mention it, I think I spotted a familiar pattern in his music. Who do you love? After Lover Be Thy Name, he released Who Do You Love? And then Love Makes, You Gave Me Love. Even for the single most popular topic in music, that's a lot of love. But here's my personal favorite love single of his, I Love the 90s. It's gonna be a 90s yeah. yeah, that's a real song title, and it's basically just a bunch of random 90s dance references. Man, I really need to take notes on all of this. There's like just a ton of ideas for future episodes here. And of course, I would be remiss if I didn't mention one of the biggest hits of his post What Is Love career, What Is Love Reloaded. What is love? Yeah, you can guess what year that came out in. And after that, What Is Love 2K9. What is love? Having delved into the topic so deeply, he probably at this point finally has figured out the meaning of love. singer. Others have done a lot more with a lot less, but I don't think it really matters. He was a dance artist. Your personality doesn't really matter in dance music. You have the songs to make people dance or you don't, and he didn't. Of course, he started on such a high note that there was nowhere to go but down. I mean, that song's never going away. Not until we discover the actual meaning of love. What is love forever? This is giving me a really bad headache.